Yeah, let's take it outside the bedroom. We're about to get nasty. Yeah, let's get real freaky. Do you want to pick any object and hit me with it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of my show. I'm Glamdora, BT Dubs. In case you forgot, it's totally cool because we're friends, right? And now that you know, you're gonna click like and subscribe and all that shit. Yeah? I don't know. I'm kind of worried that I'm like not good at making new friends. I've just been like holed up in my dungeon watching reruns of Friends. This episode is about friendship. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. I hope friends have fun together and take care of each other. I don't know, I've eaten so many. <coughs> Long story short, today's episode is about making new friends. Let's face it, Glam Gang, new friends are hard to find. You know when you're a kid, you're just friends with anybody that's on the playground with you and as you get older, you know you're a little more discerning, but you don't wanna be too discerning, you gotta be open. Anywho, here are some of the worst kinds of friends to have in your life. Friends that disappear as soon as they get into a relationship. Friends that are only your friend because they kinda wanna have sex with you and then when you tell them you don't wanna have sex with them, they stop paying for your meals, what the f Friends that send 40 short text messages at once instead of putting it all into one message. Write it up in notes and send it when you got it figured out. Friends that want to vent about their problems but don't want to listen to advice and they ignore everything else you say and then when you try to tell them what's going on with you, they're like, actually that reminds me of me. Shut up. Now I'm going to make a new friend the way I always make a new friend. By inviting them to talk to me in my creepy bedroom. Anyway, it's Rachel Evans. This is my guest, Rachel Evans. She is best known for founding the YouTube channel Snarled in 2015. <laughs> I'm really nervous right now. <laughs> Why are you nervous? Why are you nervous? Because I love you. I guess I am low-key a succubus. I do seduce people. How far do you want to go today? I think that's up to you. I am at your mercy. I'm so glad that you recognize that. <laughs> Tell me, where are you from? Originally, I'm from Houston, Texas. The stars at night are big and bright. Big in the heart of Texas. I used to collect bones, clean them, make little necklaces. Oh my god, you love bones? I love bones. I love bones. Oh, cool. Do you like boners? I love boners. Me too. <laughs> so I know. It's crazy. We're like mad connected. Yeah, wow. I was prepared to destroy you. Oh, wow. If I had known that, I wouldn't have come. Well, maybe you will come. <laughs> hey, yeah. Are you mistress of the night? Oh, you know it. Well, I have just the game for you. Oh. You know how in horror movies or in scary situations, there's always like a weird noise and mm -hmm. then everyone's like, eh, it's just the wind. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. never just the wind. It's never just the wind, except for sometimes in this game it is. This is a segment called Just the Wind. I feel like if I'm not able to tell if something is wind or not, then I deserve to be murdered. Um, in a horror movie, not in real life, please don't murder me. I feel Let's like see I have what to happens. Whoa. What was it? It's just the wind. It's just the wind. Yay! <laughs> Music to my ears. Hmm, okay, well this is a tough one, but in all of my experience, wind does not sound like it's being tortured. This is not just the wind. You yeah. are right. It is a clip from 100% Organic, a Crypt TV short. <laughs> I hope that person's dead! <laughs> oh. Okay, next question. Zoics. I think it's just the wind. You're kind of right, but you're kind of wrong. Oh. It's not just the wind. It's a tornado. Oh. Okay, next. <laughs> Man, that is not the wind. Uh, I heard maybe some bones being crushed. You wish. Yeah, I do wish. I mean, tell me. Crushing we'll bones. Crushing bones. Some yeah. Crushing bones for breakfast and lunch. What about dinner? What do you have for dinner? Cheese. Just some cheese. <laughs> I had a. I'm full up on bones. So <laughs> shut up. Okay. It's not. We just have the to. Wind. No. It's <laughs> a clip from Mira. <laughs> Next. It is just the wind. Thank you. You survived. What now? 
I have an idea. Do you want to play one of your games? Yes. It's I have... good to take turns. That's a lesson on sharing and friendship. Okay, so this is a great game to play on a first date or like when you're trying to get to know somebody. Okay. So what I like to do is soulmate match for people and their serial killers. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Here are my questions. What kind of killer would you be? Do you like the act of killing or do you want the body afterwards? The act. Okay, great. What's the point? Why do you want to kill? I think it's mostly for sexual pleasure. Mm. Sexual pleasure. Love that. Okay, great. So do you fancy yourself lady lover, lady hater? Lady lover. Lady lover, wonderful. And you know what? I'm gonna go a little bit crazy with this, okay? How do you go feel crazy. about- crazy. I'm, I'm getting go nuts. nuts. I'm going crazy right now. Now you wanna get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. Well, how do you <laughs> feel about the time period, like 1890s? Ugh. You love? That was one of the best decades of my life. Okay, well, I'm glad that it resonates deeply with you because your serial killer is Carl Panzram. Oh, I've met him. Oh, Panzram? Yes. Oh, oh. I love connecting old friends. Uh, well, thank you so much for that. No problem. I'm having so much fun. I'd like to play another game. Yes, okay, please. my game is called Horrigens. Because as you know, most of our earliest lessons about friendship come from nursery rhymes our parents and teachers tell us, but it turns out most of those nursery rhymes aren't about friendship at all. They're about up things. <laughs> Sorry. It's not funny. I'm excited. It's scary. <laughs> You're right. Book, please. All right, so what's gonna happen is I'm going to give you a summary of a nursery rhyme and you're gonna guess what nursery rhyme it is. Oh. And what it's about. Ooh, I'm gonna be bad at this, but I'm excited to do it. Bloody Mary burned a group of priests at the stake for attempting to overthrow her. That's what this nursery rhyme is about. Mm. Mary had a little lamb? Oh, and Mary didn't have a little lamb. That's she had all. Three blind mice. We can see clearly now the rain has gone. That's what this is about? Yes, because there were three priests that attempted to overthrow her as queen. Mm. And then they were burned at the stake. Yes, God. Yeah, they were referred to as blind mice because of their religious beliefs. See how they run. I like it. I like it too. You're fun. <laughs> okay, next question. The Vikings bragged about a victory where they slaughtered thousands. What? Okay, I have, it's not even. <laughs> what is that? It's London Bridge is falling down. Oh. Because in the early 1000s, Olaf II of Norway destroyed the London Bridge in an attack and the Vikings traveled around the world making the song widespread. I always make a song after I kill thousands of people. <laughs> Me too. I you, love a good jingle. <laughs> you gotta remember the moments yeah. in this life, you know? Yeah. TBT. Okay, next. This is a great one and I really want you to get it. Oh, I doubt I will, but I really don't want to disappoint you. You think this is about a guy getting mangled, but it's actually about a big cannon. You think it's about a guy getting mangled? It's just about a silly little object just getting... Humpty Dumpty? Yes. Really? Yes. I did it! Well, see, during the English Civil War, mm -hmm. there was a large cannon nicknamed Humpty. I'll do the Humpty Hump. Come on, I'll do the Humpty Hump. Can I show you my parlor? So soon? Yeah, let's take it outside the bedroom. We're about to get nasty. Yeah, let's get real freaky. Do you want to pick any object and hit me with it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> what am I going to hit you with? I don't know. <laughs> That's really. Hey, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Do you uh, want to sing a song together? I'd love to. You start. OK. I think I love you, but what am I so afraid of? I'm afraid that I'm not sure of. Our next segment is just the tip. Here are some tips on how to be a really good friend. If your friend has food in their teeth, you have to tell them. Same for a booger, don't just stare at it. Carry a spare tampon. Make a new friend in the bathroom. That's actually how I got close to Stevie Nicks, but turns out she wasn't on her period, it was for her nose. If your friend's significant other is not good enough for them, you have to to tell them, hey, listen, Roger is a dork and we can tell that you hate him. You're just scared to be alone. Don't make your friend watch early Crypt TV programming. No one deserves that. And that was just the tip. Well, oh, Rochelle. Uh-huh. Are you ready to play a little parlor game in my parlor? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna play a game called Radlibs. It's unlike any game that's ever been heard of before in this century. No, I don't, I've never played a game, so this is really huge for me. Stop lying to me. Okay. Just okay, like adjectives. Okay, you slimy. Yes, yes, that's a very good adjective. Spooky. <laughs> okay, number six. Okay, pretty classic. Six. Classic number. All right, yeah. plural noun. Apples. 
<laughs> yelled it oh, at you. <laughs> Animal. Don't say Bearded me. dragon. Exclamation. Oof. <laughs> that is a really, really good one. A crypt character. Hot dad from the sunny. Hot dad from sunny family cult. Honey, honey dad, hot father dad. Are you okay? Cool. Yeah, I had a meltdown okay, right there. Okay, do we need, do you need anything? No, I'm very Jewish, so this is generally how I speak all the time. Celebrity. Christopher Walken. Verb. Swimming. Swim. Swim, that's a verb. Like you're swimming in your own shit right now. Right. Okay, <laughs> body part. Pancreas. Yeah. Restaurant. Denny's. Adjective. What? You are so f***ing nasty and I, I love it. Band. The Cramps. Sing a song of them. It's a lot of like, ah! Oh, I know that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Yeah. You're better at it than I am. Liquid. Nitrogen. Body part. Hands. Body part. Go. Arm. Okay, um, occupation. Don't be boring. Oh, okay. Financial advisor. <laughs> <laughs> Thrilling. <laughs> Noun. A little floof, like a bunny, a bunny. Oh, I'm gonna put down a little, a little floof. floof. Thank uh -huh. you. That's <laughs> trying to think of the word for bunny, and that's what I came up with. Verb. Rant. 90 celebrity. Joey Lawrence. Talk about your high beams. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> okay, adjective. This is your last adjective, so make it good. Ooh, sweaty. Sweaty. Ooh, are you sweaty? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the final rad lib story. Are you ready? Mm hmm. I'm so excited. Me too. Once upon a time, a slimy man decided to eat six apples. He knew he could do it because one time he swallowed a whole bearded dragon. <laughs> and after, shouted, oof! <laughs> His wife, who looked like the hot dad from Sunny Family Cults, mixed with Christopher Walken, told oh. him that if he did it, she would swim his pancreas in the bathroom of a Denny's. Which was his favorite restaurant. When the day finally came, he was wet, but got himself pumped up by listening to the cramps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. And rubbing liquid nitrogen on his hands. Oh, no. Oof, am I right? Oof, indeed. <laughs> and then his arm fell off, and everyone started vomiting. His wife left him for a financial advisor that smells like a little flu. The moral of the story is don't punch if you can't run. Because. Uh, your life will end up like Joey Lawrence, and you'll die alone. Anyway, have a sweaty day! Oh, thank you, I am. <laughs> oh, we are just laughing and oh. laughing. <laughs> just laughing, loving, I living. I hate to kick you out. Oh, yeah. Since we're getting along so well, girlfriend. <laughs> you can plug whatever you want. Wow. You can follow me everywhere on the internet, uh, Twitter, Instagram, at Rachel Sam Evans, or Rachel Sam Vans, it depends on how your brain works. But mainly, you can just follow me on Instagram for pictures of my butt. Get the f out of okay. here. Well, my little ding dongs, that's the end of our episode about making new friends. I had so much fun with you today. You're all my best friends in the world. And you know what best friends do, right? They like, they subscribe, they buy merch, and they kill. Kill. Peace out. God, I love that video. Did you love that video? If you did, click subscribe below, right here on Crypt TV.